Pericles. Pericles is the prince of Tyre. He goes to Antioch to woo their princess by solving a riddle. The riddle reveals to Pericles that the princess is having an incestuous relationship with her father, King Antiochus. So fearing for his life, he flees. Pericles goes to Tarsus and provides them with food during a famine. He has to flee again when he hears that King Antiochus is still trying to have him murdered. Shipwrecked in a storm, he's cast ashore in another kingdom. Here, there is a tournament to celebrate the birthday of that king's daughter, Thaisa. Pericles wins the tournament and marries Thaisa. Eventually, Pericles and his pregnant wife, Thaisa, can safely return home to Tyre. However, during a storm at sea, Thaisa, while giving birth to their daughter, Marina, appears to die. Her body, placed in a sealed coffin, is cast overboard. Pericles leaves the baby Marina with the governor of Tarsus and his wife before returning alone to Tyre. Meanwhile, Thais's coffin is washed ashore and she is revived. Thinking she will never see Pericles again, she becomes a nun at a temple in Ephesus. Years pass and the governor of Tarsus's wife, jealous of Marina's beauty, has turned on Marina, instructing that she be killed. At the last moment, Marina is captured by pirates and sold to a brothel in Mytilene. Here, she convinces one of the brothel workers to find her work as a teacher instead. Pericles, told by the governor of Tarsus that his daughter is dead, drifts at sea, no longer eating or speaking. After many months, his ship arrives in Mytilene, where he finally finds his now grown-up daughter, Marina. She tells him her story, and he realizes who she is. Falling into a sudden sleep, Pericles dreams he should go to the temple in Ephesus. Once there, he is reunited with his wife, Thaisa, and she finally meets her daughter.